Hello beautiful people. Thank you so much for tuning in, watching, and listening. This is going to be the yes or no quick guidance tarot video for the week of October 2nd through the week of October 8th. And what I mean by that is if at any point in time during this week you feel like you need guidance, you can come to this video and I'm going to give you a short and sweet yes or no answer. As part of that, I'm also going to um, give you the meaning of the tarot card, but keep in mind it may or may not resonate as we're really here for a yes or no answer. We are going to go through all 12 zodiac signs. There are no specific order, so um, just hang on. This video runs really quick, so we'll get to you rather quickly. And again, this is the week of October 2nd through October 8th. If you have not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do so. It helps me greatly when you subscribe and it really helps me grow my channel. Also, you'll be notified when you post new content and I promise I will not content you to death. I only post like once a week at max. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump in and get started. We're gonna kick off here with Sagittarius. Your card is the 10 of Wands. This is gonna be a no. This is stress, exhaustion, having too many burdens. Um, so again, that's coming through as no, Sagittarius. Aquarius, you have the Ace of Swords. This card sometimes comes through yes, sometimes comes through no. Today it's going to be a yes. This is new ideas, new mental clarity, new creativity. Libra, you have the Knight of Cups. This is going to be a yes. This is Princess, Prince or Princess Charming. It's very much so that knight in shining armor type energy. Very romantic proposal. Pisces, you have the king of swords. This is going to be a yes. This is very intentional. It's a card of leadership. It's a card of strategic planning, strategic thought. So again, Pisces, that's a yes. Aries, you have the two of swords. This is going to be a no. This is time to make a decision. But it's also like a time to compromise. So again, Aries, that's going to be a no for you. Leo, you have the Emperor. This is going to be a yes. This is a card of respect, uh, leadership, strategic planning. It's very father figure or paternal or maternal, so family card. So again, Leo, that's a yes. Virgo, you have the Nine of Wands. This is going to be a no. This is a card of keeping and maintaining boundaries. Again, coming through as a no. Taurus, you have the Four of Cups. This card has a lot of different meanings. It is coming through as a no this time. This is a card of apathy, feeling unfulfilled. It can mean surprise gifts, but again, Taurus, it's coming through as a no. Cancer, you have the King of Pentacles. This is going to be a yes. This is solid, practical, wise. Also a card of leader. This is a card of good new investments. Gemini, you have a, the Four of Wands. This is going to be a yes. This is homecoming, celebrations, family, friends, reunions. Again, that's a yes there for you, Gemini. Scorpio, you have the Knight of Wands. This is a very lusty card, a free-spirited card. It's a very creative. Um, this is going to be a yes, Scorpio. And last but not least, Capricorn, we have the Wheel of Fortune, one of my favorite cards in the entire deck. This is going to be a yes, Capricorn. This is a card of good fortune, good luck. It's all about being a turning point, and it is a card of gambling. So again, Capricorn, that's a yes. Thank you all so much for tuning in, watching, and listening. Please do like, comment, subscribe. If you're still feeling like you need more guidance or you do need more insight, I recommend you check out your Sun, Moon, and Rising Zodiac videos for this month for some additional insight. Again, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do so. That helps me greatly, and you'll be notified when I post new content. Also, I did include my Venmo in the comments box if you'd like to make a donation. But thank you all so much, and I hope you have a fabulous week.